Smithsonian. Humans are not descended from monkeys or any other primate living today. We do share a common ape ancestor with chimpanzees. It lived between 8 and 6 million years ago, but humans and chimpanzees evolved differently from the same ancestor. Continuing, all apes and monkeys share a more distant relative which lived about 25 million years ago. Charles Darwin's Origin of Species was published in 1859. Oxford. The full title of the book was On the Origin of Species by Means of Natural Selection or the Preservation of Favored Races in the Struggle for Life. Continuing, no biological treatise written before or since has produced an impact upon society equal to it. Darwin did not set out to provoke the sensibilities of the religious community or to bring the wrath of the church upon himself and other naturalists. The closest he came to a provocation was towards the end of the tome. Light will be shown on the origin of man and his history. But soon after the publication of Origins in 1859, Darwin was mocked and satirized by the press. The criticisms from the religious community were swift and often quite harsh. The debates between the religious clergy and Darwin's defenders were epic. Even Darwin's former friend from the Voyage of the Beagle, Captain Fitzroy, accused him of blasphemy. At a societal event, the wife of the Bishop of Exeter was overheard exclaiming, quote, my dear, we will hope that what Mr. Darwin says is not true, but if it is true, let us pray that it may not become generally known." End quote. Natural Selection National Geographic Natural selection is a process through which living organisms adapt and change. Continuing, this means some individuals have traits better suited for the environment than others. From OnlyZoology.com, mutations occur by chance or randomly, whereas natural selection occurs due to an environment's selective pressures on an organism. The Miocene Epoch. The first primates emerged 55 million years ago. Mary Leakey discovered a 20 million year old primate skull on Rusinga Island in Lake Victoria, Kenya in 1948. The species was named Pro Council after a famous group of chimpanzee circus acts from Belgium. According to Britannica, Pro Council is now believed to be ancestral to humans. Even at 20 million years ago, the primate lineage was beginning to show signs of bipedality. The first apes began to emerge 17 million years ago. Apes emerged across all of Africa and Eurasia. The African lion is generally known as Afropithecus, while the Europoids are known as the Dryopithecus line. The Dryopithecines, such as Ramapithecus and including their sister taxa, Gracopithecus, are most important to the human story. They lived from 13 million years ago to 7 million years ago, mostly in southern Europe. Britannica. Among evolutionary models that stress the Eurasian species, some consider Gracopithecus to be ancestral only to the human lineage, containing Australopithecus paranthropus and Homo. Quote, Gracopithecus is not an ape. He is a member of the tribe of hominids and the direct ancestor of Homo. This is a newly discovered missing link. End quote. Professor Nikolai Spasov. And a new find may be presenting further evidence for out of Europe, a cranium and other bones of Anadolubius, an 8.7 million year old ape were discovered in Anatolia announced in 2023. From the paper, our results suggest that homininase in the Eastern Mediterranean evolved from dryopithecines in Central 
and Eastern Europe. The African model is referred to as Kenyapithecus from Britannica. Others would have Dryopithecus ancestral to Pan and Australopithecus on the way to Homo, with Grecopithecus ancestral to the gorilla. There is a third scenario, Sahelanthropus chinensis, discovered in Chad in 2001 by a French team led by Michel Brunet. Tumai is dated at 7 million years ago. Brunet and others believe Tumai is ancestral to Aurorian tugenensis and ultimately to the Australopithecines line. Aurorian tugenensis 6 million years ago to Ardipithecus 4.8 million years ago to Lucy Australopithecus afarensis 3.2 million years ago. Note aside, Michel Brunet, who led the expedition to find Tumai, is quite a controversial figure in paleoanthropology. Paleoanthropologists have identified 27 hominid species since Sahelanthropus 6 million years ago. The two main driving forces in our continued evolution, of course, were bipedalism and increased brain size. The Path to Humanity From the Australopithecines to Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Heidelbergensis, Neanderthals, Denisovans, to early Homo sapiens. Homo habilis and Homo erectus. Homo heidelbergensis. Neanderthals and Denisovans. Early modern humans. Modern humans. Just within the last decade, three new hominid species have been found. Homo naledi in South Africa, Homo luzonensis, in the Philippines and the strange hobbits Homo floresiensis in Indonesia. Variation among modern hominids. There is new genetic evidence of variation still existing today among modern humans, enough to classify certain populations as subspecies or even entirely different species. Quote, people around the world today are enormously diverse. They behave in different ways, differences in anatomy. We look at people around the world, they're very diverse in the shapes of their skulls, in their height, and other aspects of their biology. Continuing, from Khoisan to Beijing, that difference in genetic terms, a sort of crazy level difference. End quote, Professor John Hawkes. As we shall soon see, there is massive variation within Homo sapiens and other living hominids today. More to come, Australopithecines to genus Homo. Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon.